What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to tune a 2.8 liter Duramax with HP tuners. So when you order a tune for one of these trucks, they're going to ask you for the VIN number and they're probably going to also ask you for the serial number of your MPV i3. And that is actually found right on the back of the unit. You'll see a little thing that just says S slash N. That's your serial number and you'll have to give that to whatever company is making you your tune files. Once the company creates the tune for you, they're going to email it to you and then you're just going to download it. And it's going to look like something like this. You're going to need to download the HP Tuner software onto your computer. I believe it only works on Windows, but I could be wrong. But I will put links down in the description as to where you can get those uh, downloads from. And right here we can see VCM Scanner, which is how we're going to check and clear codes. And VCM Editor, which is how we're going to actually program the truck. So I'm first going to open up VCM Scanner. I'm going to plug in the MPVI3 into the OBD port. I'm going to hook up the USB-C part of the cable into the tuner. I'm going to plug the other end here into the laptop. Put the key and turn it into the run position. All your gauges will come on like that. Now we are going to scan and clear code. So if your truck doesn't have any codes, you don't really have to do this, but it's always a good thing to do even if your truck doesn't show any codes. So with the key to the run position, we're going to go back to the computer. This is just saying that we're using a beta version, which I always recommend using the HP tuner beta version. It's just better. I'm just going to minimize this screen. Okay, so you're going to want to go to this blue vehicle and connect to vehicle. And then it's just kind of doing its thing right here. This does take a minute. There we go. It's firing up now. Once it's connected, you'll see this will change to red. You'll have, and you'll have this little kind of orange engine light. That's diagnostics to info. So we're going to click that. And then down here at the bottom, we're going to say read DTCs. So this is done. It's saying zero DTCs. Can't really, well, there's one little the guy up here. Not sure what that's all about. But anyways, we're going to go down at the bottom and we're going to click clear DTCs and then exit and go back up to the top here and now hit this uh, black one, disconnect from vehicle. We're disconnected and then we can turn the key off. And we're going to close this program. And we are going to go find the VCM editor right there. Or yeah, VCM editor beta. Going to get the beta warning again. Just click OK. Now, as you can see, this says right vehicle. It's because I've used this HPT program before. Uh, so we just want to go file and we want to go close. There. So once, so now this is what you want to see. You don't want to see anything at the top here. Most likely yours won't say anything at the top, but we want to see nothing here. And we want this to say read. And now we have a blank slate. So now we're going to go to help and we're going to hit about. And then this is going to check for updates. And there's usually always an update. So you always need to download the most current version. So if it has an update, just go through the update process. I'm trying to download this update, but it's just saying insecure download blocked. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to up here, you'll see files and HP tuners and this little info button right there. We're going to click that and we're going to go site settings. And if you scroll down, you'll see insecure content and we're going to say allow. I'm going to try it again now. Here's the update. And now you can see it's downloading. So that's what I had to do on my computer. I'm not sure if you'll have to do that or not, but I did. Well, this is downloading the update. I just want to say that these videos are totally free to watch, but if you want to support me a little bit extra, I do sell merch. I got hoodies, hats, t-shirts, all that stuff. It's good quality. It's reasonably priced. It's at www.darkirondiesel.com. Also check me out on Instagram. And if you have any questions about this sort of stuff, shoot me a message and I do my best to answer my DMs usually twice a day. I do get a lot, so bear with me and be patient. Okay, closed out of the VCM editor because we have to update it. So we do have the update finished. So I'm just gonna click on it and go through the install process. I'm sure you guys know how to do all this stuff. And just go through the prompts and uh, install the newer version. Even if you just downloaded it today, it's probably gonna have an update. There are so many updates coming out for this all the time, so always make sure that you're running the latest version when you're about to tune your truck. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? If that pops up, you're gonna have to click yes, and then it's gonna run through its thing, and then we should be good to go. All right, it's done. Back to VCM editor. All right, the warning pops up again. Now, if we go back to help and we go about, it will check for updates. No update found. Perfect, that's what we wanna see. Now we also want to go back to help and then go resync interface. And then it's, it has to be connected to the MPVI three down there. And as you can see, this just added four credits and, and this truck will take four credits to program. 
So with the tuning I got, it came with credits, so they added it right here. Um, so I'm gonna hit close. If you do that and you don't have any credits, I'll put another link down in the description to show you how to buy credits and add them onto your MPVI 3 device. Okay, now you're gonna wanna hook up a battery charger. Uh, something around 10 amp is fine, but yeah, it's always a good idea to have a battery charger before we tune a truck. Once the battery charger is in, we're going to turn the key back to the run position. Now, something I always like to do before I tune a truck is I always like to download the stock file just so I have it in case I ever need to tune it back to stock. So I'll show you how to do that really quick. So with the key in the run position and we got the VCM editor open, we're gonna go right up here, this little green uh, thing. It's gonna say read vehicle. We're gonna click that. We're gonna click gather info. And then you can see the top, it says E98A ECM. We're gonna say read entire. And then down here, it says T43 TCM. We wanna make sure we say do not read. So all we are reading is the ECM here, and then we're gonna click read. Another thing I need to mention is that you must have your laptop connected to Wi-Fi, and it has to be a good connection. So if you're just trying to use the hotspot on your phone, you may have problems. If that's the, all you can do is use the hotspot on your phone, then just make sure you do not go on social media or anything like that when it's doing it. It needs all the internet it can to ping back to those HPT servers. If it loses that kind of connection to the HPT servers, it will just cancel the, the read or the flash. So this is saying it's going to take about five minutes in total. And once this is done, I'll show you how to save it. As soon as it finishes reading, it's gonna pop up this window. So for the file name, you can write something in there. I just wrote the last six of the VIN and then I said Duramax 2.8 liter. Now I'm gonna go find a folder and uh, save it in that folder. So I'm gonna go documents and then 2.8 Duramax YouTube, click that, double click it. And then I'm gonna save it right there. Now, if I open up my folder, I can open up the folder and I can see we have our read file right there. And then underneath is that tune that the, the tuning company sent me earlier. Once you do a read file, this is all gonna change again and it's gonna give you the option to write right there, but we don't wanna do that. So we're gonna go file and we are going to go close. And then this just kind of brings it back to, you know, an empty slate. Now, last thing I recommend you do before you flash the truck is hit the info button up here and then click the info button again. And this is just gonna gather the VCM suite info or suit info uh it's as quick as that it's already it's just finishing oh yeah it's all done and then at the top here we're gonna say save i'm gonna go back into my youtube folder here and i'm just gonna save it in that folder so by getting the stock file and the vcm info all it's really doing is protecting you in case you do have problems with the tune. It's going to make your life and your tuner's life way easier to fix any problems that you may have. You're probably not going to have problems, but if you do, you're going to be glad you did those two things. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for. So we're going to exit out of this. We're going to file. We're going to go open. We're going to go into, I'm in the folder that I want to be in right here. And this is that level two, that's the power level we're doing. And we're gonna open the tune file. And this is the tune file that whatever company you bought the tune from sent you. And now you can see up here, this is, it says at the top, there's a file. And now you have the option to write vehicle. Now remember the key still gotta be on, but not running, just in the run position. And now we're gonna click write vehicle. It's gonna come up with the E98A ECM and it's gonna make sure it says write entire. We're gonna click right. This is gonna pop up and say warning, it's gonna take four credits to do this. So you're gonna to have to at the bottom here, you're gonna click specific. And then once you click specific, this is gonna burn up your credits, just so you know. But you have to do this to tune the truck. So we're gonna hit okay. Are you sure? Cannot be undone? Yes. And now we are officially writing the tune onto this 2.8 liter Duramax. So it's just doing its thing. This one's probably gonna take about seven minutes to do. And while it's tuning, I'll just say that some companies may actually request a stock file to be sent to them so that they can build a tune off of that. And if they do request a stock file, well, you saw how we got it. So you can just download that stock file. You can email it to them and then they'll send you a tune. The company I'm using though, they didn't request a stock file. Whenever you're tuning the truck or you're reading it, I do recommend that you just leave it alone. Turn off the climate control before you tune, turn off the radio before you tune, and then don't open or close the doors, don't roll down the windows, don't touch nothing, just let it do its thing. Sometimes if you touch any buttons, it can have a weird power surge. It's very, very unlikely, but it's just a good practice to when the truck is tuning, just 
don't touch it. Just leave it alone. The computer though, I do recommend every now and then you just kind of move the mouse around just because you don't want it to go into sleep mode or anything like that. All right, it says write completed. That is beautiful. We're gonna hit close. And then we are going to exit out of the VCM editor. I'm gonna take the battery charger off the truck, close the hood. Then I'm going to start it. And it runs, lovely. That's exactly what we wanna see. We have no engine lights, nothing like that, so that's good. So after the flash, if you do have an engine light on, just go back into that VCM scanner, connect to the vehicle again, read codes and then clear them and you should be good to go. All right, I'm happy with this. We got good throttle and all that stuff. So I'm gonna shut it off. And then I'm going to unplug the MPV i3 and get my laptop out of here. So it's as easy as that. If you follow all the steps we did in that video to a T, you shouldn't have any problems at all. If you found the video useful, please like, please subscribe for more content. Check me out on Instagram at Dark Iron Diesel. If you do have questions, just shoot me a DM on there. I'll do my best to answer. And again, if you want to support the channel, go to www.darkirondiesel.com and check out the merch. And I appreciate every one of you. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next video. I can't take no loss. I don't even know what it costs. I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah.